secure the pass. Full cleanup tonight. Holy. <laughs> that big s Boom! Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! No way! <laughs> Is that pretty sweet? That's a nice piece of gold, dude. <laughs> I'm happy. That's a hell of a nugget right there. Boom, baby! Taking too long in the pit. Those guys are uh, double handling everything, and uh, they can't keep up. So I was wondering. I think I'm going to pull that grizzly out of the pit and just have Chris load straight onto this grizzly. Run out of them all. Last season, the roach took a beating from large, awkward Colorado boulders. That gets into the roach. It's done. We're going to destroy the road. But with his new $500,000 wash plant, the Eagle in transit, Dave decides to take a risk to catch up on the gold. Everybody around here said winter can come early. I want to try to get as much through this plant as we can, as quickly as we can. If you want the gambling, trust me, I'm up beside you. All right, I'll go tell Jason. I want you to be careful walking across. You're a real professional. Thank you. Back in the cut. Right now, the water has actually gained. We're not keeping up even with the two pump. Jason faces the consequences of heavy rain. I bet you we gained an extra four foot of depth of water. I was on a mission to get to bedrock. Now I'm just on a mission to not, you know, be snorkeling. The deluge has raised the water table, leaving a flooded cut. This water has been such a nightmare. I want to be down there mining. At Glacier Creek, 24 hours of torrential rain leaves the peppy cut flooded and the crew out of pay. Jason, how about I get Nathan and we move old Dan's wash plant? Maybe we can find some pay under there. What do you think? That would be amazing if you could do that, Dave. Wherever a wash plant sat, there's always a lot of gold scattered around because wash plants lose gold. So we want to mine all this out, run it through the sluice box, and get the gold that old Dan left. Old Dan is stationed on higher ground and for almost a decade ran thousands of yards of gold-rich pay. Dave's theory, the ground around the plant could contain years of runoff gold. So he's banking on the ground under not just the tailings pile, but also beneath the entire wash plant to keep his crew in the game long enough to drain the cut. Come over, Dave. There we go. Good. Can you pull it this way now? Am I OK? Uh, turn that way. As Dave and Nate move old Dan. What happened? Morning. At the Roach, Dave's decision to remove the pre-screener sees Chris battle the grizzly bars. Grizzly is just not big enough. I find myself having to jump out of the loader and help the rocks up. Jammed up. But that's every morning. It gets frustrating. Chris is now back feeding the roach 100 yards of gold-rich pay dirt every hour. Highway to heaven. <laughs> yeah, the grizzly's giving me a little trouble up here. You know, because those big rocks just go off the backside of, of the grizzly, and I have to discard it. Oh, shit. 
shoot. Dave, you got copy? Go ahead and trust me. Dave, we got football side. Uh, coming out from Paul Kaling, pal. Football side. See those rocks? These rocks are too big to be in our sluice box and doesn't allow the gold to fall. You, the only thing that should be in our sluice box is that. See the difference? We got a problem. This won't last. Shut it off. With no pre-screening, Flat alluvial boulders slip through the grizzlies on the roach. The constant pounding destroys the screen decks. And as rocks carry through, they block the sluice, pushing gold straight out of the box. We got holes in the screen. They wore out. It's real simple. It's not complicated. And we ordered screens three weeks ago. We ordered screen three weeks ago. We're in Alaska wilderness. We're not getting our parts. next morning. You know, it's a temporary fix to keep us running. It's this screen here, you know, it's old and bent up and like that, but you know, it's gonna work. It'll work for us to get by. Nathan adapts old screens in a bid to get the roach back running. You just can't get things in that fast here in Alaska. So when the neighbors claim, he had some old screens that would work. Nathan's done a great job keeping that thing running, keeping it producing, and it looks good. It's good, good run so far today. Just hoping and praying that that roach stays together. Time to put some gold in the box. The roach washes rocks once again as Jason scrapes pay from Gold Ridge Bedrock. The whole crew is now back to work. Now it's time to really kick ass and get some gold. Very excited, I warned you. We should have had these screens in about two weeks ago. Good news is it's coming in and we got brand new screens. Got some screens. I'm waiting a while to get these screens. By God, here they are. Ready to be full strength again. Nate, Here's we're all time. ready. We got by, that was the important thing, but now we gotta get running. Well, we're running back to full speed. Got new screens in there. And uh, Jason's on good gold. We're back in business. Good job, Nathan. Woo wee. Yeah, man. The Roach is back online, and Jason is on bedrock as Team Turin fights to stay on track for its weekly goal of 50 ounces. Well time, go! We need a good gold way. We've been working hard, struggling, so maybe God's smiling on us this week, maybe. Let's hope so. Oh. oh. <laughs> that big <laughs> Boom! Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> no way! Damn it, son! Oh <laughs> That's pretty sweet. It's the biggest nugget we found. Gray skies don't matter when you find nuggets. <laughs> that's the biggest nugget we've found so far in the last four years of mining. You know, that's something nice to see in the box. It means, you know, we're getting closer to bedrock. Gold's getting bigger, so uh, looking good. <laughs> I'm happy. That's a hell of a nugget right there. Boom, oh, baby. I couldn't believe it. Look at that, dude. At the gold room, after joining the crew last year, Dave's grandson, Micaiah, expands his knowledge of the gold business. 
right now, there's no other place I'd rather be than here with my grandparents in Alaska. I enjoy working, and I've caught gold fever. I can say that much. Let's weigh it up. Ready to weigh it? Ready to weigh it? Yeah. Shelly? Mama Shelly! Mama Shelly! Do the right. gold way. Ready, here we go. She's the good luck charm. Oh, she is All our right. good luck charm. I hope mm. so. Get some of that. Eight, nine, ten. Come on, big money. Eighteen. Twenty. Twenty-two. Oh, Twenty-three. Twenty-five. Week. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty. Thirty. Good. Come on, big money. Oh, Let's yeah. do it. No whammy. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at that. Forty. Yeah. Come, Come on. on. Ooh wee! Oh, we're gonna go over fifty. Fifty. Oh, oh yeah! We're over fifty. Yeah, yeah. fifty. Now we're talking. That worked. That worked. This week's haul is worth over ninety-seven thousand dollars, bringing this year's total to ninety-three point nine ounces. Dang, boys! High Ooh. five! Yeah. Hey. Nice. Good job, boys. Good job. It's good to see it. You know. I know it's here. We'll get these pumps here. We start dewatering a little more, get down to some of that real good pay. We're going to show what the hell a gold way really is. Guys, thanks, Shelly. <laughs> nice welcome. Yeah, that's good nice. job, Micaiah. <laughs> good job, guys. Nice to have you guys. Y'all nice yeah. come any day like, when y'all start doing that. If you keep, <laughs> the day's you keep now. bringing this to us, all right? Oh, man, that was a great gold way. It's going to be a lot of fun to be in the gold room this season. The thing is, we're getting better. We're getting every week where improving and it's showing so, All in. In. but we're doing a good job i feel confident now that the reason i brought him here it's starting to pay off so it's a good day and i can sleep better tonight